I just thought everybody knows how to make bacon and eggs. I'm gonna make a beautiful salad. Oh! See, I put them off where the coals are. So I'm making a potato salad that has no carbs in it. Hi, Terry here. I wanted to tell you that Pam is an excellent cook. I hope you're enjoying the cooking segments that we've been presenting. I asked Pam to tell you where her love for cooking came from. Oh, it started when I was about in the fourth grade. My mom just let me have full reign of the kitchen and experiment as long as I cleaned up my mess. So I would come home from school and just experiment. And my sister, I made her be the a customer in my restaurant. And I made some real flops because I would take a recipe and want to just try to hurry through it and not follow every piece of the direction. Once I got to be able to play in mom's kitchen, I started watching, it was called, I think, Barbara Angel's Cooking Show. And Barbara was on a local television show in Portland, and she cooked every day. And so when I would fill out those things in high school, what do you want to be when you grow up? I always said I want to bake cakes on television. And I really meant I'd love to cook on television. So now I get to cook, but it's on the internet. And I think that's as exciting as cooking on television. In fact, I probably have a lot more viewers on the internet than I ever would have on that local television program. In high school, I entered a cherry pie baking contest and Vicki Zoller beat me out, but she had a better crust than I did and she used lard, which I used Crisco and we'll talk about that another time. But in that contest, I decided to braid my lattice work. And so it made a tough crust. When you braid it, it, you're handling the dough too much. But it was beautiful. It was a braided lattice cherry pie. Came in second. And then when I got married, I loved cooking and I loved to have people come over. I loved especially men to rave about something I'd made and I love people to say, oh, I, I, I can't eat anymore and, and I just say, well, can you have dessert? Oh, I don't think so and then they did and then they'd have to crawl home. I loved that. I loved getting the accolades for my cooking and so now I get to play in the kitchen with you this is my kitchen, it's not a TV set, and so I get to share with you all my hints and shortcuts and what I've learned. I've been cooking for 45, 50 years, and I've got a lot to share with you. People ask me, how come you're such a good cook? And I think it starts with loving it. I'm not afraid to experiment. I like to play with food. It's like chemistry, and I got a D minus in chemistry, but it's kind of, food is chemistry. When you cook it a certain way, it does something different than when you cook it another way. And so really, it's a playground for me. And so it's, I've had some real flops, and if I have some while I'm ha sharing with you, you're gonna see them right here. My goal in sharing my cooking with you is to hope that you'll get a love for it and a feel for it and that you can have meals at home and not go through the drive through and save money. When you see how much money we save by cooking at home and the smell in your house when you cook, I love it when my husband walks through the door and he'll say, oh, mm, what's cooking? What's for dinner? And I love that. You do have to be a little organized in your kitchen if you're going to get meals out on time. And I like to put everything out at First, like you see cooks on television, they bring up a tray and all the ingredients are there. That's wise to do when you're at home because the stuff is right there and you're not running all over the place. Now, if you need to lose weight and you need exercise, don't worry about it because you can use the going back and forth and up and down the stairs because you left something in the pantry or whatever. My kitchen is organized in wet, hot, cold, and dry. So if you think that way, when you're at the sink, you'd have glasses and wet stuff, your dishcloths and dish towels. In the dry center, that's where I mix things. So you have all your canisters and your um, spices. And in the hot area, you have your spatulas and frying pans. And then in the cold area, it's your ice cream scoop and things for the a pitcher for your water and 
the cold stuff. And it's kind of an easy way to design being organized in your kitchen. I've been in so many beautiful kitchens in my lifetime, and I'm always surprised when the homemaker doesn't like her kitchen, doesn't want to cook in there. And I think it's a fear thing. You think, oh, I'm, I'm not good enough to cook the way Martha Stewart does or Rachel Ray. So if you have a beautiful kitchen and you're afraid to be in it because you haven't had success, watch some of the things I do. They're very simple. You'll be so surprised. You're not going to be cooking the way you did in home economics in high school. So I'm ready to cook. Are you? And if you get some mmms and ahs from your family, I want an email. I want you to tell me what happened because I love hearing from you. Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with.